Hello, this is Micah Cohen, and I'm going to talk about the latest features in the Apple II VI mode software that I've written. Um, this is not going to be a general overview. Uh, there is a different video that describes the general features of A2 VI mode. And this video is just to talk about the new features that are specific to version 0.5. Uh, and in particular, there are a number of AppleSoft integration features that are handy uh, for use with the prompt. So without further ado, we'll just load up A2VI mode and uh, launch right into it. So one of the first neat new things is that if you type in a line number in insert mode and then type control G, it will go to that line number in the currently numbered in the currently loaded basic program. Uh, and you can use control N to move forward by lines, loading them into the prompt and you can edit them. And if you hit return, it'll be the new line for the program. Um, and control P to move back through lines. And um, control G will work on any, uh, any number that the cursor is at. There's a new command if you press the pound key, that's shift three, uh, it will skip forward to the next available number in the line. And then once you've done that, you can go forward again with the semicolon key uh, or backward with the comma, like so. And then if you press control G over a line number, you can go once again to that line in basic and so that makes it very easy to navigate around and inspect lines of basic and also to edit them in the prompt um, there is also uh, let's see if I find a suitable one uh, if I accidentally type say d3w to delete three words oops I've just deleted some of the line but now there's an undo feature and you get that just by pressing U while you're in normal mode and I got my words back. Uh, and uh, to redo the change, you just undo the undo. There's only one level of undo, and so undo undoes itself too. So if I want to delete those words again, I can just type the U, and it deletes them again. And you can go back and forth like that. Um, another feature worth talking about, uh, if I type in, um, I type in a line and then I type control A, uh, it will automatically give me line numbers uh, at the prompt. And I can also change uh, how much it skips by and it will automatically adjust. So if I want to skip by five instead of by 10, which is the default, uh, then I use tab to enter normal mode, type a five and then control A. And notice that the line number changed to 1015. Um, and then if I just press Control A by itself, it will turn off the line numbering again. Uh, and you can toggle it on and off, like so. Uh, there is also Control L, which pulls in the last line that was typed at the prompt, whether it was a line of basic or not. Uh, the only thing that this does not work for is Prodos commands. Uh, because ProDOS will actually steal the input line uh, before there's any chance to save it. It reads the carriage return and processes the line before the prompt has even exited, so there's no time to save the prompt. But in all other cases, it will bring up the last thing that I typed. Uh, so that if I type hello world and I forgot to make it a print statement, or if I type print hello world, Uh, and forgot to add a line number to it, I can just recall it with control L, uh, go to the beginning of the line, add the line number that I meant to have, and now it's been added to the program. Um, and these are most of the things that I would want to show you. Uh, one last thing, uh, if you've got, say, a print statement like this, um, there is the T command, which goes to just before the next character 
uh, that you type. And so I typed T and now I'll type the quote mark. And you'll notice that the cursor jumps to right before the quote mark and what that's useful for. And you can use F instead of T to go right onto the mark like that. So I was at the beginning of the line, I typed F, quote mark, it went forward. And then once you've done that, you can use semicolon to jump forward to the next character and comma to go backwards so you don't have to keep typing the character that you're searching for. And uh, one thing that this is really useful for is to pull out everything that's in between double quotes. So for instance, if I type C, T, quote mark, well, it's going to change everything that's between where the cursor was, which was just after the first quote mark, up to the next quote mark, which lets me replace the text. Like so. Um, it is also extremely good at uh, navigating, oops, navigating between semi, uh, between colons. So if I go into normal mode and I type F colon, and then I can go back with the comma key and forward with the semicolon key. And it makes it very easy to navigate long lines that have multiple colon separated statements. And so I think that these features are extremely useful while editing a basic program. And I hope that you enjoy trying them out. Thank you very much. And again, if you want general information on how to use A2VI mode, then see my earlier video, which I'll put in the description. And, uh, also definitely read the manual that accompanies the software. And the software uh, is also provided in links in the description. Thank you very much.